Wi Fi. And it says, Can you walk through how you would use this with your SVS subs and optimize with the app? Maybe very quickly. Yeah. With I mean, SVS subs and optimize with the app. For the first thing I did was play this the crossover points, right? And it goes from 250 hertz down to 16 hertz. I set my. I turned off the sub in the amplifier, in the uh, in the receiver. I said no sub, so the sub wouldn't play. I put the speakers to large, the front left and front right, and I just played it, and I was just like, oh, okay. I can find out the best place to cross over my speakers. 80 hertz, yeah, it wasn't too great, so I just raised it up to 100. Then I put that back to small, uh, made it 100, and then turned on the sub, and then I was just like, man, this big suck out over here at 80 hertz. What's going on? And then I looked at the back of the sub. Sub was set for 60 hertz. I was like, oh. Crap. I didn't know. Direct didn't know either. So once I had it set up, then it was like meshing very, very well. So first I would do that. Mm -hmm. And then you can fine tune whatever you like on the app. Once you have your basic setup for your, you know, from your left main to your subwoofer or whatever front mains to your subwoofer. Mm -hmm. And then go from there using the app that SVS supplies. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think about the same. Yeah, you try to figure out where the roll off is for your main speakers. And that's going to be around the area where you're going to need the sub to take over. And make sure that the blend is seamless. You know, so that requires level matching, making sure also phase alignment, that they're not fighting each other when you cross them over. Um, and so that's, you know, we have test tones for every one of those things. Timing, make sure that they, they're playing at the same time. Yeah, you can do I the think manual once you get the time, time alignment. Down, yeah. The phase is probably going to be uh, aligned. Um, so those are just basic things that you can do. Uh, back okay. to the subwoofer thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so he was asking, how do you adjust the SVS uh, subwoofer using the app? Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, the follow-up question was, do you adjust the phase in the app or distance in the AVR? And I would say... Uh, both you could use both so i'm not exactly sure how the phase works on on the um sbs app i haven't tested that to see if it i mean isn't there the just delay. a phase switch on the back of the sub or is that gone now mm, on the new one it's all digital right you just oh, use the app okay. so if it's just rotating the phase that's not really affecting the timing Right, but I don't know if, if that's how it works. If it's just adding the delay and they've just called it phase, so uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the answer to that. But the question is, usually here's what happens. Usually the subs have more delay than your main speakers, and what you need to do is you need to add the the, the delay to your main speakers so they match the delay of your, your sub. So that means that you actually have to set the distance in your AVR anyway because you can't make you can't add negative delay to your subwoofer right that's really what you want to do <laughs> so yeah um yeah probably just do it on the AVR is my final answer steven says the phase works with the SVS app no no the phase works with the SVS app i'm not sure exactly no what there's that means. no switch on the back i think is a oh i see yeah I think that's what it's like. Mm -hmm. But um, where the phase starts to come in handy, though, is if you have multiple subs, right? Now you want to make sure that those subs play nicely together prior to uh, setting stuff in the AVR because the AVR might not be able to, to do that. It might not be able to adjust each one independently, right? Depending on the AVR. So what you probably want to do is Make sure that at least they're playing together, and then let the let the AVR set the distance afterwards. Hopefully, that helps. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at Anchor.fm/slash/DailyHiFi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show. <laughs>